Hey guys, so this is going to be my first video for War of Divisions. Uh, I've been playing it a lot recently, as you can see up here. Um, they just released the Final Fantasy IV collab, so this is the EX2 quest part of that. I've put together an almost mono win team here with the goal of, you know, getting all four of the quest missions and just doing it auto for the recipes. So it's an elemental chain of three or more. Uh, Lucia takes care of that pretty easily with quad shot, but I mean, there's four wind elements on this team anyway, so even if she didn't use that, they'd find a way to get that together. Defeat three or more enemies simultaneously. Uh, that one's a little more difficult. Halloween Leela is great for that, but the person who ends up actually doing it in this auto run is Fravia. She just gets a taunting spell off at the right time. No KOD nets is hit or miss. For the most part, it's pretty easy. Uh, Lucia gets picked off if one of the reactions goes off. I can't remember which. And then the clear out missions. So, this is the setup. I'll post it all or I'll post a screenshot or something, but... Uh, I pretty much have everything except their magic buffs turned off for these two here, Dario and Fravia. She's super underused, but I love her for this quest. And Taunting Spell. Uh, Lucia is the only other one. These guys have everything they need. She's subbed Arithmetician. Oops, I clicked her by accident. Lucia is the only one that has everything except for her uh, Limit Break, because it's a two hit, and Quad Shot turned off. So we're going to go ahead and embark this here. I always play on my phone and I don't have the visuals on, so it's cool to watch what they actually do with all the casting videos and stuff, but uh, it can get a little tedious sometimes, so I'll walk you through what's happening here. Obviously, it's pretty standard. So the first few turns are just them prepping the two skeletons down, getting them as low as they can without actually killing them, and then one of them ends up dying at the same time. So here is the first four elements, so that's already one of the missions, the three element chain or four, whatever it is. Um, so they're getting these pretty low, and then that top right skeleton, I don't know why I'm pointing, <laughs> if you can see it. This top right skeleton here is going to die with those two air elementals in the top right corner. I think, instead of healing, so with a new update, uh, it seems like Hall Halloween Leela is a little more aggressive. So instead of healing that half health Fravia, she opts for the, uh, the Aroga, or Aurora, I can't remember which one it is, in that top right corner there, which is Aroga, okay, which is interesting. But that gets them low enough for Fravia to then come in and taunting spell three of them, which is pretty cool. I thought the one who would get the, uh, that, that's the second mission there. Three enemies at the same time, so all that's left is no KOs and all missions at the same time. Which, if nobody dies, then that's, that's a given. The only thing that can go wrong is Lucia gets picked off sometimes if uh, one of the reflex counters goes off on the, the magic people, I think. Because then, I don't know, it screws everybody's AI up, right? And Golbez gets out of place, but... It looks like this is a good run. It's about 70%, it seems, and the only way to fail is, like I said, if Lucia gets picked off. But with a game with so much RNG between, like, crits and misses and herb aids and... Uh, in reflex counters, like, it's... It's gonna be, like, it's gonna be a thing. You're not gonna have a 100% guaranteed rate, right? But... I do like this quest. Uh, Golbez is a really cool champ like model actually. They made that into like a smaller version, which I'm sure they can just kind of like scale it down to size. I'd love to have him as a, as a character. I don't have any good dark people, but I'm gonna go for Kane, I think. Kane and Rosa. Rosa would be really nice. It looks like the uh, perfect. So this is a good run. I don't think anyone's gonna die here. Rosa would be really nice, and it looks like they're doing the whole mono element teams like everyone's talking about. So my goal is to have a team of Fravia, uh, Rosa, and Agrith, and just hunt mag like magic people, because Fenrir is going to be broken. Can't wait for that. I really do hope we get the same uh, card effects as JP, though. They're probably going to scale some of them down and buff some of them, depending on how well it goes in, in uh, the JP client, but yeah. I like this. I can't wait for the, uh, the wall quest. Because I have a lot of piercers, and that's kind of my, my go-to, my favorite. So I can't wait for the uh, the demon wall raid coming up, but... This should be done here in a couple more turns, and yeah. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I'll post all their reactions and settings and whatnot in the, uh, in the comment here. And then either in the video or in the post. And you guys can see. I know it's a lot of URs, and it shouldn't be hard with a lot of URs, but... Farming anything to get all the missions and doing it on auto is still pretty difficult, so yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. We finished it on a little animal, uh, what's it called? Animal pumpkin or something like that? That's a weird one. Perfect, okay. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped you at all, and uh, have a great day.